Thank you very much, Jenna. First things, apologies. I said Mr. Good Bear. It's you didn't go Dr. seven years Good of medical Bear. school to be called Mr. Seriously. Dr. You earn those credentials. This, by the way, like will go with any outfit possible. Yes. With every single color in it. It's all no you matter, need. No matter what Look, I pick. I'm Boom. just going to... Careful, careful. Ah. Ow! <laughs> They're pointy things. Ow! Ooh. See? Ah. <laughs> Here. And I think there's oh, gray don't somewhere look, over it. Ow! <laughs> like you're trying to peel me like a cantaloupe. <laughs> so cute though. Now really I have to is. wear it all day to cover up the scars. <laughs> also a well-dressed man, our buddy Drew Kozub was prepping earlier, looking good sir, as he went to have tea with the governor at Lower Fort Gary. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, very happy to be back. We've got this fresh cake baked right out of the oven, which is absolutely delicious. And we're sitting down because Tea at the governor's house is a pretty prestigious occasion, and you are invited to enjoy this on Monday for the long weekend. Oh, how fantastic. Family, friends, everybody join together. That's right. Everyone's invited to come down here, explore Lower Fort Gary, and the highlight is definitely going to be tea and cake at the governor's house. First of all, let's introduce the attendees because that's what you do at a respectable uh, dinner party. So we have Aaliyah here who's looking beautiful in her lovely costumes. To my right, we have the governor with a handsome cravat. You'll notice this beautiful gentleman. You may be familiar with him from such shows as Breakfast Television. That would be me, Drew Kozov. And then we have Carolyn, who is the governor's wife, and you're the one hosting the tea party. So ex explain to me a little bit about this. How prestigious was it to be invited to have tea inside of the governor's house? Uh, quite prestigious. This is definitely something that you wanted to be invited to, but not everyone got to because it depended on your station within society. And really, we didn't get a lot of tea parties because there wasn't a lot of people that were really upper class enough for it. So if you're coming down and you get to have a tea party with us, which you'll be able to on Monday, you're more than welcome to have it with my husband and I. Okay. Well, can I ask what's exactly going to happen for the tea party? When we come down on Monday, what should we expect? What are we going to experience? Well, we're celebrating Queen Victoria's birthday, which means that in 1850s, the people who worked for the Hudson's Bay Company got half a day off, and then we get to celebrate yeah, it's quite great. A whole half day, whoa. <laughs> and some rum. Oh, okay. It's definitely good, yeah. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have cake, we're going to have tea, and we're really just going to visit and talk about the news of the era. Okay, oh, really fun. So we'll get like to be talking about what life was like uh, in the 1800s mm -hmm. living inside of Lower Fort Gary. Uh, let me ask, if I really enjoy maybe the cake that I'm having, and I'm like, you know what, i got to make this sort of era food at home. Do you have a way that we can do that really Actually, easily? Actually, we do. So this is the Victoria sponge cake. It's one of her favorites, and it's in the new cookbook that's coming out called From Our Hearth to Yours. Ooh, um, that we're Well, we try. Uh, we're selling it in the gift shop this summer, so uh, please come down, see us, and come pick up the cookbook. Okay, well, we can look forward to that, so uh, mark that on your calendars for Monday. Would Thank you. Like yes, tea? yes, please, please. Um, <clears throat> very, uh, very excited about learning the etiquette here. Now, if, uh, if we can chat with the governor for a minute, uh, not only the governor of Lower Fort Gary, you're also so a, a part of Friends at Fort Gary. So can we talk a little bit about what it is that you guys do uh, with uh, the Friends of Fort Gary, Ben? Yeah, definitely. Well, we this is, of course, a Parks Canada-run site, uh, but the Friends of Lower Fort Gary are a non-profit <laughs> organization. It's very rude. It's not how this works. Uh, Sorry. No, all right. Sorry. <laughs> non-profit organization that's designed to support and enhance the programming that goes on here at the site. So we do a number of different volunteer activities over the course of the year. Uh, we also run things like the gift shop, for example. Okay. And well, one of the activities that we can experience is on Monday if we come down mm -hmm. for the uh, the tea party. Yeah. Uh, I understand you guys got some summer camps as well. Yeah, we do. We have a camp that's called the Company Adventures Day Camp. Uh, so it's a really great opportunity for kids to come down, spend a full week here at Lower Fort Gary during the day, and they can interact with the site staff. They can try their hand at a lot of historic games, learn about history learn about sort of nat uh, Canada's natural uh, features and wonders as well. Um, and so it's a really fun way for them to spend their summer. Really, really fun. And what ages are we talking about here? Um, it's ages uh, 6 through 12. Okay, great. So something really fun to do and a great environment to be doing this in. So uh, I'm going to finish off my tea with the governor. We've got the governor and the governor's wife and one lady who seems unclaimed. So I'm going to work on my mid-1800s courtship work and uh, finish off the tea party. If you want more information about what goes on here at Lower Fort Gary and how to get in on the fun on Monday, just go to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. Cheers. Ha-ha. <laughs> so, tell me about your bonnet. And I know.